And with that, I hope you got some value and I cannot wait to introduce my best friend, Michelle Marie. She is my BS BFF. She is my running partner. She's my sister in Christ. Y'all, she is on fire for Live Good. She is running up the leaderboard so fast. She's lighting a fire under me and Chuck and Courtney. A huge shout out. Also, Kaylee Ray's on the leaderboards. We have five people on our team on the leaderboards, you guys. We, we are so on fire and we're all going to Diamond together. Michelle is a hustler. She's a doer. We've worked together for four years and we have built big teams together and we have huge goals here at Live Good and we can't wait to go to the top together again. And I want to tell you one more thing about Michelle. Michelle's a servant leader. She's an amazing mom. She's an all around great person. You're going to love her, but I want you to know about her. She is a 24 seven full-time nurse to her disabled son, Jaden. Guys, if she can find the time to build this business, I know you can too, because if Michelle can do it, I know you can. She, her, she literally has to be on call 24 seven for her son. He could die in a seizure. So she is able to build this business, get on the leaderboards, close to platinum. Like I said, you know, look, look at how you're prioritizing your time. It's so important. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my best friend, Michelle Murray. Or I'm going to unmute her. I already introduced her. All right, Michelle, I'm trying to find you. Can somebody unmute Michelle? Hello, can you hear me? I can. You got the floor. Oh, I, I love you. I, I love you. You're going to make me cry before, and then I won't be able to read. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. My name's Michelle, and I just wanted to say thank you, Timbo, for inviting us on this call today. It is truly an honor to be here with all of you. Thank you, Chuck, Landy, and Courtney for your servant leadership and love. You guys, as Landy had mentioned, my screen is going to stay off because I'm sitting next to my little guy. He's in bed. He's had a rough morning and I have headphones on. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay. You guys, this is so exciting. Live Good is growing so fast and we have so many people who have de never done network marketing before. I love it. My inbox has been blowing up from others within the company with questions on how I'm growing my business. Some of my reels over the last few weeks have gone viral. And the truth is I grow my network daily. And a few years ago, I started to brand myself on Facebook. So everybody has to start somewhere. So if you haven't branded yourself yet, grab a pen and paper because this is for you. So today I'm going to share with all of you how to brand yourself and not the company. But first, I want to share a little bit about my story because your story becomes part of your brand. And for the last five years, I've been able to provide for my family by using social media. And I would say probably 99% of my business has come from Facebook alone. So first, you want to know your why. Why are you here? What is your motivation to build it big at Live Good? Your why is the driving force that fuels your passion and gives meaning to your life. Your why is your purpose and your mission. Your story is your journey. So your story and your why is part of your brand. People relate to your story and many may even have a similar why. So my story starts back in 2016 when my son had a severe reaction to pharmaceuticals. Without going too much into it, the doctors put him on benzos and his body became dependent. And at 14 months old, he lost all muscle tone. He's now disabled and he has set seizures daily. He's seven years old. He cannot sit, stand, walk, talk, or chew food. And he was born healthy. I was a medical research analyst for over 10 years. I had great income. And in the blink of an eye, I lost everything. I was in a freak accident that year, and between my health and my son's health, I was forced to resign. I was the primary provider for our family, and when I resigned, we lost our health insurance, and then I was unemployed for over two years. On top of that, I battled with severe insomnia because my son wasn't sleeping more than two broken hours in a 24-hour period. Sleep deprivation affected my mental and physical health. I could barely function throughout the day let alone try and find time to find an outside job of the house. I was able to get my son off all pharmaceuticals and he was a certified medical cannabis patient at one years old. The more I began to research CBD, I knew I wanted to share it with the world. So I joined a CBD company in 2018 and I was there for about two years. I left for personal reasons and I had no intentions of getting back into network marketing. I felt like if people saw me jump into another company, they wouldn't trust me. 
But because I was providing education and transparency, my following trusted me. So when I started with the company three weeks later, I continued to provide education and my friends trusted me and many followed. Other things that I I began doing um, that were therapeutic for myself was gardening. It was my therapy. I love to grow all year round. Examples of things that I would share is, you know, growing microgreens indoors. I would make videos and create content from start to finish. Working out was also therapy for me for many years, but living with chronic pain and inflammation daily made it difficult. But I share my journey because I know I'm not the only one going through it. So when I would share low impact, low impact workouts, natural things that help with pain, nutrition that helped with inflammation, I was also sharing my son's journey, what has helped him, what didn't help. I would share nutrition, alternative therapies. I connected with many special needs families. When I started sharing my son's journey, I didn't realize how many other families were going through similar situations. You never really know how much your story can have an impact on others. Sharing our journey has also been a huge part of my healing process. Not only that, but there are so many many families out there where one parent needs to be home with their special needs child or homeschooling children. So many people I connected with and those families trusted me because they, they walked along that journey with me and they saw that it was possible. There are so many things that you do in your daily life that you can use to brand yourself. Friends, people buy from people buy from and join people, not companies. Let me say that again. People buy from and join people, not companies. One of the most important things you can do for the longevity and security of your business is to build a personal brand. Social media is the best platform to build your personal brand because it's free and it has immense potential to connect you to a global audience. Your personal brand will outlast whatever opportunity you are part of. And even though we're all, we've all found our home here at LiveGood, the last company that I was with, I was there almost four years. But because I branded myself and I always show transparency, for those of you that I'm friends with on Facebook, you'll see I'm an open book. I built trust with the people who follow my page. People will buy from people they like, know, and trust. So start with your Facebook page. If you were someone who, if you were someone who came across your Facebook page, would they see your face on your profile? Most people want to see who is friending them. So if your profile picture isn't of you, I highly recommend changing it to a clear visual picture of yourself. Ask yourself, if you scrolled your Facebook page right now, would it scream spammy? Do you share stock photos and links all the time? If so, if that's not working for you, maybe try changing it up a little bit. You know, it's different for people who have big followings on social media, but we never encourage people to share links. Share on your page what you love and what you're good at. Show your skills. Maybe you love nature, fishing, cooking, traveling, health and wellness, fitness, whatever it is that you love. Join groups of interest. Those groups will help you increase your knowledge, come up with new ideas, test out your skills, and help build confidence. Groups will give you an opportunity to expand your network and build relationships with other like-minded individuals. This is truly an essential stepping stone in building your personal brand. Share content in these groups, but also share on your page. You can also uh, take content uh, like tips and recipes from the groups and add to your page. You want to get to know people in the groups and build those relationships. And I always recommend keeping your contact content public so that you you can attract more followers. You want to engage on your friends' posts. This will help your algorithms. The only thing that I don't post publicly, publicly on my personal page for the world to see are things about my children. So I do keep those to friends only. But you guys, there's thousands of people out there who share the same interest as you. Find them in the groups, attract them to your page and build those relationships. Each day, share different things. Be creative, change it up, take advantage of reels and stories. Research has shown that story features on social media sites are growing 15 times faster than news feeds with more than 1 billion users already taking advantage. What I love about the story feature is that it shows who is watching your story from beginning to end. Those people are engaged in what you're sharing. Make sure you go love on their posts to always return the favor. You can create So much content with stories and reels. Step out of your comfort zone. You don't have to aim for perfection. Shoot for consistency. One of my biggest downfalls was aiming for for perfection when I started creating content. I would see these big influencers that were so inspiring posting these beautiful photos. And the reality is that's not me. If that's you, great. But I'm a special needs mom who's alone all day long without help. And when you see me in my reels or stories, chances are I rolled out of bed and you're seeing me like all messy. 
if that's not you, great. But if that's you, don't be afraid to be you and to be real and to be raw because those there are people out there that are looking for the real, raw, and messy you. People who don't have it all together all the time. You guys have fun with it. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Sorry I got emotional. It's been a rough morning here. Have a beautiful and blessed day, everybody.